Sex magic. Can you use it on your business? What the hell is it? Kathy Vartuli from the Intimacy Dojo.com. Read Mahako from readaboutsex.com. So, some of you know that I am a pragmatist and I like my science and my peer reviewed double blind research. Kathy's uh, by night a 19 patents holding engineer. She's a very smart person. I don't know why she does these videos with me. And I am also a mystic. I have had stuff happen to me that I know there's not science for yet. Um, I speak woo woo and I speak science uh, fluently. Kathy's better at science than I am. She helps me be more articulate. That being said, can you use sexual energy to improve your business as one of our writers, one of our followers wrote in? And the answer is yes. I don't know if it'll do a damn bit of good, but it's certainly fun. <laughs> so and, why not? And it might do a lot of good. What we do know is having sex and being clear about what you're trying to create in your life is a really great cocktail for just having fun and being intentional. Yeah. And when we're out of integrity around something, like there have been times I wanted to create something here, but my heart may not have been aligned with it or I had some blocks in the way. It was hard to be very sexual. Like it was hard to focus sexual energy towards that. And it was a good way. It was actually a, a barometer for me to know that there was something I needed to look deeper in around what was blocking me from creating mm -hmm. that. So, And when you're using, and this is the more woo-woo side, right? So my scientists just put fingers in your ears. Um, from a woo-woo perspective, you using, accessing the creative energy of sex um, while focusing it towards or aiming it at, right? Because you don't have to be thinking about your business project while you're pointing, <laughs> you know, somebody that you love. Because um, they might be like, where, where did you go? And you're like, I'm doing accounting. This is so good. Um, <laughs> but what you can do is you can aim your intention at this is what I want to dedicate this energy to, mm -hmm. um, point it at, um, and then kind of set that intention and then be accessing all of that creative energy. Now the more pr pragmatic sciencey side of it is you're creating this goal visualizing it while you are accessing and about to dump hopefully because it's good sex a lot of endorphins and stress release hormones in your body and while connecting with somebody and you know taking care of a lot of your monkey needs that can be really super invigorating mm -hmm. and help you work through like you were saying like blocks um and fears because now you're repatterning this goal that you're visualizing with um, sexual self-expression and and uh, expansion. That's a potent cocktail. Oh, yeah. Whether woo woo exists, whether the science is right or not, like this is all great. And if you're having sex with people that you like, and you're in a business that you like, yeah, sounds like a good life. Yeah, sometimes you can see the problems, the blocks from a different perspective when you're being very somatic. You're in your body experiencing things from a different way, um, which I really like. There's different ways to use your sexual energy to, or to direct it towards your business. Some people will just set the verbal intention or a mental intention before they have sex. Um, they can not invite their partner to direct their energy towards it. And some people, I've, I've actually seen someone like shouting it out during orgasm and Make sure your partner's in agreement. Gonna close that deal! Ha! And then some people just fuck on their desk at work. That's weird. Don't do that if you're in corporate, please. No. HR hates that. Leave your comments below. What do you think about sex magic or the ideas that we're talking about in this video? Thanks for watching. Bye.